Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? So today we're talking about um, custom characters and starter characters and you guys are probably wondering like um, what are we doing and this kind of stuff. So first things first, just want to let you know um, thank you so much for 1060 subs. You see, that's pretty lit. Um, so, <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is I have a kit where uh, there is R15, R6, R6, and R15, and this one is all of them. Um, so, what the hell was that? Uh, so, basically, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own character and how to weld things together and basically use them. Um, quick disclaimer, uh, I will be making a tutorial on, uh, like, custom character GUI, so, like, Either there's gonna be one where you can use it in a simulator if you'd like. Uh, I I didn't make it, but it's someone else's, so I'm just gonna link it. Um, it's just gonna be a finished model of, uh, like how you would step on a button and then you would be able to buy and purchase uh, a model and get into that character. So there's gonna be that. But then I'm also gonna make another tutorial on customizing your own character. So like, just like a load-in screen, like a GUI where you would like choose your skin color and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's gonna be an option. And then I will make another tutorial. I'm pretty positive on like uh, certain ranks and stuff because I want to do that on my FPS game. Um, but like right now, I have a kit where uh, this is the starter character. Um, and just keep note. Uh, what we're learning today is how to make your own and how to make your own kind of character and stuff like that. So you can use these and all that kind of stuff. But if you want to like have multiple characters, that's going to be later on. This is only for one character at one time to use it. And this is for everyone. So like what we're doing is we're going to be making it so everyone's going to spawn as this character. This is going to be a character that that's why it's called starter character because it's like a thing that would happen for every person that joins the game. So, um, I mean, basically, let's get right into this. Uh, we're going to start off with, let's see here, let's teach you guys, okay, so I actually got this one from a person as a recommendation, actually, so if you do like the Flash, you could use this, um, what it is, is I put it in starter, you would, so I forgot to tell you guys, so you're going to ungroup it, <laughs> totally forgot to tell you about that, uh, toolbox, let's see, here. so when you get the model, it's going to say put in starter character scripts, once you get this model, it's going to load in like this, uh, Grab this script, character settings, and put that in starter character scripts, and you'll see why. Um, it's meant for this character, and it won't affect your other guys. Uh, so, then, once we put we put that one in there, so how this works is you got to make sure everything is named starter character. It's kind of weird. It's just because how Roblox does it. Um, and you would grab the model, and they have to be working, and then I'll show you why, and I'll show you how sometimes it won't work. Um, and you put it in starter player like that. And that's going to make it so the person's in spawn in as that model, and you'll see in just a second. And also, make sure in your game settings, the avatar choice is set to player choice, because that will make it so, like, the game studio, uh, our studio won't mess up. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay, well, if you do like the flash, this is, like, a definition of what I mean by that. This is R15 to R6. That's a good question. So... God, I didn't even test this out. Okay, well, there's a cool thing you can look at. So these are kind of cool if, if you like Flash. Um, and I'll show you how to customize that in a second. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's get that out real quick. I think it's R6, if I'm right. I think that, no, it's R15, okay. So what they did, left anklet, rig attachment. Nope, not that. Okay, arms. So these are like the trails that are supposed to be if I'm right, weld, arms, 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 okay, that's kind of weird, so normally what happens is you leave them like that, and they should weld together, so you guys should have the script, by the way, I don't know if I told you that, um, make sure you have that script, because these will help you, uh, use that, so let's just see this real quick, I don't know what the problem is here, I actually had a I had to teach someone this, but I didn't get it fixed, it looks like. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's still popping out. That's so weird. Why is it popping out? 
Okay. We're gonna get back to that. Let's just go to everything first, because that one I haven't I didn't even test it or try it. So, um let's do this one. So if you guys are trying to learn how to put on hats and um like glasses and attachments, there's a few things of ways of doing that and the best way that I would say would go into the toolbox and look up stuff. So uh and there's cool things you can do too. I customize my own. So let's say this right here, okay, there's the glasses. Um if I open this up, they have the two parts. You can change the colors to whatever you want. Let's say that. You can do that. That's really cool. Um, there is a joint, so leave that. Do not mess with it. And these joints are what uh, keep them where they are and stuff like that. So I, don't, I didn't set up the glasses, actually. The one thing I did set up was the accessory, which isn't here. Where is it? Wait, where is it? I don't want to move it. Oh, that's it. Okay, it's 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 that thing right there. I'm pretty yeah, it is. Okay, so um, yeah, there's like so you can customize it however you like. Just be careful because these weld constraints and stuff like that. You don't want to mess with it, or else what will happen is they'll become out of spot. But like if you go into mesh, you can change the mesh ID and the texture ID, and that's like how I said with the parts. So if I were to go in here and search up hair you can add that kind of stuff so let's just add one real quick just because why not so let's add this black hair um i'd position it like i said you want to fix it around and stuff like that you can use these models by the way guys guys you can use these models i don't care like my guy i don't even give a crap so let's do that you don't you don't need that or that so let's put that in there now once it's a part of it let's see here where's the hair attachment Copy. and then you paste that into there and then keep that right there that attachment and then what you're gonna do you're gonna click that go to easy weld and then so it isn't a model that's the thing um, you just click that, so this, and then we're gonna go to head. Oh my bad, handle. There we go, and head like that, and join in place. And well, now it's connected. We're gonna try it out in a second. Uh, make sure can collide is off. Yeah, that's good. Oh, and anchored, that should be off too. Sorry, I didn't check that out. Make sure anchors off because what will happen is it will keep your character from like not spawning. So, yeah. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do this, just mainly, most importantly, get this script, this plugin, the Moon Animator plugin, and use this to weld everything, because welding is the way it keeps them together, and that's kind of how you put things together. If you need more help on that, I'll try and help in, in the next two videos. Um, sorry guys, I'm just totally blanking out. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah, so it worked. Perfect. So there we go. So that's basically how you do that. And, um, yeah, so there you go. It's pretty easy. Um, now, so that's already fixed. So we're good to bring this guy out. I'm going to get rid of him because we already went through him. Um, then let's say my person. So I just grabbed my guy. This is kind of the same thing, R6. Uh, yeah, there. this is literally the same thing. Um, Basically, these are accessories, and if you want to search in here accessory and just add that in, that's like a def That's how you can tell which one's which, and all that stuff. You just want to position everything, do what you want, and then when you get the part, this part right here, handle, and make sure it's handle if you want. Easy weld it, because that's the way to do it. And what you want to do is easy weld it to the certain part that it's at. So like, let's say this where did I do it. So blade. This is in the back. So I'm pretty positive torso there you go so that's pretty much how you do it and body back attachment you don't need attachments if i'm right i don't know really why that's there but yeah that's a simple thing of saying that i yeah i made this one uh a bit ago and let me show you what i did so if you do have a model okay i actually made apps for my guy because he's a little guy he's crazy um and this is r15 you can literally customize all you want guys it's pretty sick what you can do 
with like texturizing and all this stuff. R15 is pretty nice fun. So abs, they're all um, parts like this, which is really funny. And what I do is I got rid of it. Can Clyde's on. Make sure it's on for this because this is your body. Um, and then what you did is unanchored it and you'd grab and highlight all of this. Okay, so if you were trying to weld something and it's like a model like this, there, well, it looks like you could do a model. Yeah, so you could do that. Or you just do the best part. What I did is I weld them all together and it made this whole weld like that. And you'd up the upper torso because that's at the upper torso part. So that's lower torso and then upper torso is right here and I'm connecting it to that. So that's pretty simple, like I said. And then quiver, uh, it had all of these and you can just position these and don't, don't worry, like they're not anchored, okay? So, it's, you know, whatever. But you would highlight them together, make sure they're, they're all highlighted and then weld them to the part. So that's like so simple, guys. I, I just, uh, the, the welding for these kind of people are really easy to make. And we'll move on to like the actual custom. Um, and so like these head had their own kind of thing so yeah this is the normal kit um and if you're trying to get rid of stuff and just add on later just work on that and if you want to do like decals for the face right there you can change that um where did i put the i'm trying to find my where is it uh i'm trying to find the coconut <laughs> where did i put the coconut that's weird. Okay, well, yeah, so then let's try this, this one guy out real quick. Um, yeah, I want to make a tutorial on how to do custom, like, choosing from a screen GUI and all that kind of stuff. But this is just a simple tutorial on using one thing. And if you do want this to be your main character in the game, then do that. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, let me get rid of that. Now, if it's this guy, so this is when we get a little bit more complicated, and this is where you guys get a little bit more confused. So this right here is rig, okay? It's already rigged up for you guys, so don't mess with anything inside it, rather than adding to it, because what will happen is if you do, it's gonna break it. And you do need, in the starter character script, is this character settings, because this is when it does the auto weld parts and um, all that kind of stuff. So that is for this thing. So you don't really need it for the other characters. So let me just show you what it is real quick. And this is where it comes to like non-Roblox. Like if you guys want to make something that's just like crazy, like robots, or you have a robot tycoon, this is something you could do. Um, there could probably be a few scripts you can change, but yeah. So like, look at this. Isn't that kind of cool? That's like a thing you could do. And let's say you go in first person. It's pretty cool. So that's something to taste too tuned, but let me show you how to customize it. It's pretty simple. Um, so all you got to do is go in here, okay, and let's say I did this one already, upper torso. This is a part, it's not anchored, can Clyde is on, and that's all you got to do. So, this part, I can do, let's make it, let's just do something real quick, not too stuff, too much. Let's just make them into a weird guy. Let's say you wanted to just go like that, okay, now let's get another part. New mention, let's just do this. This is better too, if you don't want too much whatever duplicate that let's go to the head like this now let's go up like that and you say you want to just put some eyeballs on them or something then whatever you can just do that um make sure you don't change the name of the parts because it is in the script that is just named part so let's just say you go like that just duplicate it boop like that so it's pretty simple and then duplicate Let's go left, uh, left lower arm, left lower arm. Okay, so let's go all the way down here. There's so many things you guys can do. Um, and if you don't want to like do it like that, you want to just create a big rig that's like your own kind of character. That's literally what you can do. Like, uh, I'll show you in a second. I don't know. I want to, yeah, I'll just do it for you. Um, yeah, but let's say you want to do that. Uh, let's go foil. Yeah, that works. Whatever. And then left upper arm right here. That's that. Let's say you want to create this right here.
Where is the left? Uh, upper arm. Oh, that's a torso. Yeah, that's my bad. So this part will make it bigger like that. So, yeah. Let's just touch this real quick so I don't take too much of your time. So, literally, you can just customize your own by doing that. And if you guys are looking for, like, custom characters, it's kind of easy to find, actually, a ton. <laughs> but, okay, so there we go. It worked. Um, it looks kind of weird, though. So that's what you have to mess with. Um, but, yeah. That's pretty much what I mean. And, uh... You can do whatever you want with this kind of stuff. It looks really weird right now, but that's just like custom, custom. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you today. I'm gonna work on this flash one real quick, and then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pause it, and work on that one. I'm gonna get rid of that too. So, and like I said, if you deleted that, you can just click play again, and there's no starter character in there, and, and I'll just spawn in as myself. So it's pretty simple. Um, I think I'm gonna spawn in as R15. I don't know. So there you go. So uh, let me pause this real quick and get to the flash. Okay. Okay, so I kind of fixed it. It was weird. Um, <laughs> it's kind of messed up though. So don't I learned don't weld it to um, the humanoid root part because I mean to weld it to the humanoid root part, but don't weld it to like the head and stuff like that because what's happening is. I welded it and the head's getting pulled back by it. I don't know why. I don't know if they're ink aired. I'll see in a second. But like the arms, this one's welded to the arms. I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's a little fun running animation. <laughs> um, let me show you how to weld it though. Uh, let me see if it's anchored. I don't think it is. They're not anchored, are they? No, they're not. Um, well. All I did, this one was to the body. Okay, this isn't it. This was. I'm pretty sure it was these guys. Did I? I don't know then. That's weird. Well, normally what you do is you grab that, go to Easy Weld, and then let's say I got those two. I just do it to the head. And there you go. But make sure, yeah, so you just weld them to Humanoid Root Part like that, and it won't do that little drag. But let me just see it and see what I, I did. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna make another tutorial on tons of stuff, guys. I got trails coming up too, so I can help you on trails. And, uh, probably, like, a shop with that, so it's pretty easy. But, let's see. Okay, so yeah, so they're kind of fucked up still. This one's going with the head. This one's not. But, the arms are. That's weird. Uh, whatever. It's kind of cool, though. I just need to get that script working. That's sick, though. Um, yeah. Okay, well... Hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye. The truth.